Welcome back to the Millsway channel. This isn't a real popular subject for some people, but I've met men and women that could be affected by this. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a medical doctor, psychiatrist, anywhere, anyone. But if you think you have maybe some of these possible situations happen in your divorce, maybe you have some early signs of parent alienation syndrome. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of books on it. I encourage you to study and read up on it. You know, some things, for instance, I've seen happen to friends is first of all the other parent not allowing the kids to choose to see the other parent even though let's say the court said the child was supposed to be with them 50% of the time or every Tuesday and every other weekend and every other holiday but instead they allow that child to choose whether they go see the other parent could be a possible sign leading to parent alienation syndrome. Another one is telling the kids about the failed marriage, giving them detailed about the marriage, making them not look as bad, you know, blaming on the other person, giving them details of the divorce decree. Could be another possible sign. Blaming the other parent for money failures or that their lifestyle was wrong or they needed to change. I hear that a common thing. That other person had to be changed. I wasn't happy. We all make our own happiness. Not someone else. Not a big home. Not a nice car. Not all the money in the world. It shouldn't matter if a person doesn't like to eat Chinese or if a person isn't educated as much as the other or doesn't make as much money. So that's another sign. Another sign might be one of the parents asking to adopt the kids, saying, hey, you don't have to pay any more child support if we adopt the kids. Could be a possible sign. Talking bad about the other parent you know, saying that she she or he <laughs> drinks a lot, she or he uh, parties a lot, goes out, does this or that, or has friends over at the house. Could be another sign. One parent reminding the children it's okay to feel angry at the other parent, whether it's because the one parent had the divorce or caused the divorce or wanted the divorce or maybe the one parent had different rules at their house than the other parent and the other parent just added fuel to the fire maybe the one parent said that the child needed to go to bed by nine and they said well dad or mom doesn't make me go to bed at night so then the other parent says, oh, that's just terrible. and You have all the right to be mad. That's just not right. Could be another possible sign of parent alienation syndrome. Another thing is saying that the other parent's place isn't a home. It's not like our place. You know, I, I've heard this where Let's say the husband gets remarried and they have a house and maybe he married someone that has kids also. Maybe they have a dog and a cat. Maybe they have a horse. So here's the one single mom living in an apartment, let's say, with no pets, no nothing. And here's the dad remarried with house full of th things so that parent saying oh you don't want to go over to that other parents place we have it all here we have a home 
This is a proper place to grow up in. Could be another sign, which has been a common thing I've heard from a lot of different people in the past. Another thing could be is one parent calls the other child when they're with the other parent saying, hey, we got tickets to the movie that you've been wanting to go to. You want to go with us? Even though it's not their time. Or maybe they say, we've got tickets to the football game or the basketball game. You want to go with us? Even though it's the other parent's time. Now, the other parent is probably going to not want to hold their child back from any happiness or anything and say, yeah, go ahead and go. Enjoy yourself. But it's taken away time from that other parent. Another possible one is one parent calling and saying, hey, we're going to your favorite restaurant tonight, or I'm cooking your favorite meal tonight. You want to come over? Again, taking away time from that other parent. So each parent's time, I feel, this is just my opinion, is very important to the child. And then the other parent could be Let's say buying the love of the children. Maybe she or he, the one parent, doesn't have a lot of money or doesn't want to go way in debt. Where the other parent is saying, hey, I'll buy you that iPod, I'll buy you that Xbox. And that one, the child's going, ooh, this is great. Mom or dad loves me because they buy me all these things. You never buy me anything. They don't know the whole story. So again, just my opinion is just, I encourage you to take a look at being a cooperative, going by each other's rules, or at least trying to make things as civil as possible. Like I said, everybody has their own opinions. Not everybody's going to like this video. I know it can be a touchy subject for some people. My goal is that if it helps one person just a little bit, it's well worth it. I do suggest that if you've seen these signs or any problems or you feel there's possible problems, I'd go see a lawyer. Definitely go see a lawyer. That would be my advice, but I'm not giving advice, so... I just hope in a perfect world that everybody could have 50-50 custody. That the kids could get to know both parents 50-50 without any drama, without any name calling. And then be able to, when the kids get older, that way they can be close to their grandchildren. So. I hope to leave a mark on this world by, I'm going to write many more books. I'm going to make many, many videos. I'm going to keep making more websites, telling my story. So hopefully I will leave a mark. So if I have grandkids someday, they'll be able to go back and read my books or watch my movies. I want everybody to live happy, healthy lives. I hope everybody reaches their goals and dreams and don't let fear hold them back. So if you like this video, please click like, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my new upcoming videos as they come out. I also have a monthly giveaway every month. So be sure to enter that. Until we talk again, have a great day.